hyperextension doesn't look good, but San Antonio gets the W. The Cleveland Cavaliers in Dallas, that's where Kyrie Irving and LeBron James are doing the We're live! We're back! Alright! Yesterday we had a great game. Fantastic game. My Timberwolves taking on the incredibly tough, durable, and you know what? Downright gritting, gritty, rising Phoenix's team. And uh, we lost that one. Saddens my heart greatly, but Blake Griffin was too much. This team was too much. And I'm out. But there's still plenty of teams left. We're still doing the first round, and I was wrong yesterday. There's not just one more game. There's actually two more games left in this first round. This is the first of those two, and we're almost done. We're almost going on to the second round. So here we go. We got Portland Trailblazers taking on the Dallas Mavericks. Substitute Zero versus Chandler Parsons. Who takes this one? And brought to you by Sprite. It's the 2K pregame show. Hello again, everybody. everybody. This, this is, is Ernie Johnson. Welcome to 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us and the legendary Shaquille O'Neal sitting alongside. Tonight, it'll be the Dallas Mavericks up against the Portland Trailblazers. For Portland, they know it's always tougher winning on the road, facing a solid team, but one with weaknesses. They'll look to take advantage and steal the win. Hey, Shaq, Dirk Nowitzki has come up with this shot late in his career, this one-legged fadeaway. Uh, what do you make of that move? I call it the iron leg jumper, Ernie. The iron, iron leg? Ein, E-I-N, as in oh. Einstein, but take away the stein. Ein means one in German. Iron leg jumper, unstoppable move. He bumps you, gets you off balance, then takes a step back and shoots a fadeaway. Unprecedented move, similar to stat sheet stuff, skyhook. Unstoppable. But but the skyhook revolutionized the game. You're not saying that about this Dirk Nowitzki one-legged, iron-legged jumper, whatever you call I'm, it. I'm just saying that this shot can't be stopped. I don't know about revolutionaries and kings and all that stuff. Hmm. Just couldn't be stopped. Didn't think the conversation would go down. It's time for the NBA. Live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg alongside. And our sideline report tonight is Doris Burke. 
the Portland Trailblazers came away with the win their last meeting this season against the Mavericks. That win, of course, breaking the tie in this season series. They lead two games to one. I just loved the rhythm they got into offensively. I mean, they really started to click. What's up, Kingshire? You hope Wesley exposes Parker? Well, <laughs> was indeed impressive. They well, we'll see. We'll see. It's a tough matchup. It's a right, tough matchup. Floor, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. I'm excited for this game, though. Rudy Gay is out there with Green. And if Westbrook plays That's anything like he's been playing in real life, it's Westbrook. over. And it's McDaniels in at the two spot. Russell Westbrook, one of the best success stories when it comes to converting a scoring guard to playing the point. But it's his overall talent that's made him successful, his will, his competitiveness, and his incredible athleticism. Anderson, a screen on Parker. Westbrook passes to Anderson. Oh, went in there and tried to power it down. But true contact, he'll head to the line. Dirk Nowitzki picks up that. Well, that's the best possible play there. I mean, that was an easy two, so instead foul him and make him shoot free throws. That's right. A smart, strong foul there. No and ones and no dunks. Now, last the game started off. We went like four minutes without a single field goal. That free throw missing. Uh, no field goals yet, but hopefully Chris Anderson can get himself a free throw here. He can get on the board and get this thing going. Man, look how pissed off Chris Anderson looks. He just looks angry right now. What's going on here? Look at that guy. Look at that face. Look at that mug. Look at that mouth, that grimace. Just perpetual. free throw. Good. Dissatisfaction going on with Chris Anderson right now. Maybe that will speak to how he plays there tonight. I don't know. Profits, we'll see. But they always seem to have a hand in free agency come July. Now here's Nowitzki. He's coming off a 13-point game against Cleveland. Honey I mean, Parker looking skinny. Look how skinny his legs look right now. Defense trying to pressure him. I thought he did a really nice job of getting them to overcommit, and, and you know that's how he got himself to the free throw. Dustin Holiday. Another miss by Holiday. No good. Portland gets the ball back. Clark, you look back at some of the big names. Gonna make their moves. Westbrook for three. And they missed out on him, but they've always been very no good. No good, but Westbrook's looking to be that big score tonight early on. Now Parker, after Westbrook's missed three, the defense was ready for him that time, and they Parker with the miss. So another the game. game that's starting out with a little rough here, a little rough. No one's really scoring. So first quarter, no one's getting at it, but not a lack of trying from Parker. And look at Rudy Gay sifting through, and he's going to get two free throws. The whistle and a lot of contact there. Rudy Gay is listed at 6'8", but he has a 7'3". Their hook's pretty bad in 2K, I got to say. I don't know. I, I feel like 2K, I feel like, honestly, they did a lot of white people wrong in 2K15. Their faces just do not look right. It's... As you talk Pretty about messed up. Size and athleticism. Like Kevin so Love or Calvin Love. I mean, they don't yeah, look right. And it also enables Dirk him doesn't look right. Jump shot off over pretty much anybody. So if he's spaced and he's playing at a four, and he can get that Ooh, nice off. layup for Bosch. Man, I like this Dallas up. team, though. I like that they got, yeah, I mean, Dirk and Chris Bosch. That's, that that's really dangerous right there. That's a bad front court the offensively. They can really hurt you. What? Dirk's already. Is he in foul trouble? I must have missed it. There's the triple, and Westbrook gets it to go on the assist by Green. Shades of yesterday's game with Blake Griffin. Westbrook's got his first three points of the game. Where Blake Griffin now was sat out very early, to get this game and, but he came back, and he played almost every minute from the third Bosch quarter on, and he took Parker. the game over for his team. And Jones has we see a similar court. thing from Dirk. I don't know. Back to Parker. Dallas moving the ball around. Holiday making his way inside. And Look at that, and one opportunity. And Chris Anderson's gone from pissed off to looking kind of sad. That play. Great body control. Still a little disappointed, I guess. The play despite the contact. You know, when that whistle blows, you're not done. Get greedy and find a way to knock it down. The Mavericks shooting their first free throw of the night. And as a club, they're kind of in the middle of the pack in the NBA in terms of their free throw shooting. About 76%. You know, their percentage has dropped off just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, Kingshire just confirmed Dirk is in foul trouble. A huge drop off, so no so that's why he's concern. out. Now here's Gay. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Uh, like I said, Blake Griffin, he was out for a long time in his game, but his team learned to play without him. And when he came back, it was over. One player he said they can't overlook is Chris Bosch. He said Bosch is the perfect complimentary scorer. He can hit the spot up Jay. All day's looking pretty aggressive tonight. The offensive boards. We simply can't get so caught up elsewhere that we allow him to have a big night. And Kevin at 6'11, Bosch really Anderson's an anchor down low for a long time there. Gotta watch well, out for that three second call. And thank you, Doris. Rudy Gay for three. No problems knocking that one Good down. shot. Look, Rudy Good Gay looks look. great He's in the Blazers uniform, doesn't he? Look at that. 
Mavericks trail by three. I think that's a match made in heaven right there, aesthetics-wise. Rudy Gay in that Blazers uniform. That's a good combination. And there's the pass to Parker. Shot clock at six. Tony Parker trying to get a shot off of Lillard playing good defense. Tony Parker gets it to go somehow, some way, though. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. Outside Westbrook. Gay left side. Green with a screen for Gay. Green with a screen on Holiday. Gay. Rudy Gay with behind the back. Throwing Chris Roberts or McRoberts down. Throwing him off his game. Nice layup. Three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Westbrook against Parker. Back to Bosch. Chris Bosch the spin and a nice jump shot. Man, we got some nice looking offense going on here. A lot of players showing up tonight. This could be a really exciting game. Daniels kicks to Westbrook. Westbrook turn around the jumper, and that's good. Both teams are hot right now. If you're waiting for him to miss that when he's that open. Looking at Dallas, they want to turn it around after the loss to Cleveland. And guys, had their free throw shooting been anywhere near up to par, I think it would have changed everything in that game. No doubt about it. I mean, there is Dustin Holiday gets when you're not having success at the line. Is the fair to fight, and then he gets inside for a good two free throws here. He took a hit right there. Lots of free throws are there. Whoa, look at Holiday's face. What is up with that man's mouth? His mouth nose region is just all jacked up. I don't, I hope, he don't look that in real life, does he? I doubt it. I'm going to check right now. He's got that Gary Neal treatment. Both free throws good from Holiday. Portland's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Yeah, Justin Holiday's face isn't that jacked up in real life. Come on, 2K. What are you doing to these people? Westbrook posting up Parker. No good. Now Dallas takes it the no other good. Way. It's like Justin now Holiday has like a triangle. Like his face is. There's a triangle under his skin that's holding everything together. That's what it looks like to me Back in to this Jones. game. Down to five on the shot clock. Parker drives in. Parker trying to work on Westbrook. Westbrook falls down. Doesn't get the call. Man, a gaping hole in the and Parker looking good tonight. Didn't waste any time getting through it. The Trailblazers have gone fifty percent from the field to this point. Four of eight. Showing up Russell Westbrook a little bit early here. Outside Westbrook kicks it to Gay. Green passes to Westbrook. Gay with no one around. And Rudy and Gay with the silky smooth jump the shot. Nothing but net. Here to start the game. That's three out of four already. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Boy, he wants to get everybody on the same wavelength. That's for sure. A lot of talk about Russell he Westbrook lately. Things here as well. In the NBA, like since we're saying he is the best competitor we've seen in the NBA since Michael Jordan. I don't have a problem with which that. is pretty crazy, but they're not saying that he's the best player. They're just saying his competitiveness. They're saying his fire is the best since Jordan. You know what? I can see that. I can see how someone can make that statement. Parker with it. 23 points for him the last game against Cleveland. Knocked away. Anderson with a steal. And here we go with West Always good to see a big man being able to do something like that. And Rudy Gay gets hit. Bucket and land one opportunity. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They sure are. That's my bad, McDaniel. It's not Rudy Gay. The Trailblazers have split their free throws right down the middle so far. They're two for two. Well, this is a club that has hit about 80% of its free throws during the season. Very impressive number. Guys, their free throw shooting. Yeah, this offense is real exciting. This is way year. more exciting of a start really than the game the yesterday. We haven't had a uh, really exciting game in a while. I mean, yesterday's game was pretty good. It was not gonna, you know, that was actually one of the better games we've had lately. 
But yeah, we've had a couple of games here and there. We had some blowouts, just you know, nothing too exciting. So I'm really anxious to get to that second round. I want to see what these matchups are going to look like, especially these teams who won by 10 points plus. And uh, what's funny is we got two filler teams in the second round. So it's going to be crazy if one of those filler teams makes it out into the finals. It's possible. Now Westbrook, five points in the game. Gay in the corner. It's rebounded by Bosch. What's sad is my filler team did better than my real team. And Holiday kicks to Jones, and the basket. Both filler teams did better than Jones. Jones got his first points of the night. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Yeah, they've been the aggressors, Clark, and getting the ball inside into that lane area. That filler Bucks team, though, that they actually wound up being pretty good. They got uh, they got some decent defense out there, and they're really long and rangy. Oh, Rudy Gay just getting to the basket. There's no resistance there. Twelve points for Rudy Gay already. That's crazy. Rudy Gay looking like a great pick. Out to the right wing. Outside Bosch. Parker against Westbrook. The kick out to Holiday. Shot clock. Holiday for three. And he hits it. Holiday is really impressing me. I didn't know he had this much game. But he's looking like a great little player as well. I believe he's a bronze player too, which is crazy. Draws fouls at a very high rate for a point guard. One thing I like about so this tournament is I'm seeing a lot of players that I wouldn't think would be very good uh, are actually very good. So the next time I do one of these, I got a lot of guys that possibly put on my team. And Rudy Gay with the big three, continuing his crazy hot streak. Rudy Gay almost has as many points as the entire Dallas team right now. Let's keep this thing going, guys. I love seeing a three-point battle like this. Dallas calls timeout. Crazy offense and tonight. Parker really is great from mid-range and in. His three-point shooting a little bit more inconsistent. Some seasons he's shot in the high 30s from out there. Others it's only been in the 20s. But it may be a shot he turns to as he loses some of that elite, elusive quickness. Looking at who's out there now for the Mavericks. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Josh McRoberts. Ken Bazemore comes in for, for Jones. Dead. And it's Getting a nice open lane. Portland also Laying it up. Changes. I'm excited to see how these bench players are going to play tonight. Has a game broken 100 yet? Yeah, game. King, I think a few games have broken 100. We've we we had some high scoring games, but this one's just looking really good. I think the first game we had with the, these new sliders which was the first game of this tournament. I'm pretty sure that was a pretty high scoring game. It's been a while, I can't exactly remember, but we've had some, some high games. Just lately, we've had some dull ones. No good Bazemore, but nice rebound and put back by Leonard. And now we got a tie game. Well, both these teams get 30 points in the first quarter. That's something to look out for. Here's Westbrook. We've had teams struggle to get to 25 in the first quarter. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the boards. Yeah, and even though it's early, I mean, that's a great sign for them for the rest of the game. Here's Bazemore. Oh, Boss gets himself open. Nice layup. Well, Don't forget, nice Chandler Parsons Mavericks. Uh, they don't have Dirk Nowinski out there yet. He hasn't played yet. Um, besides, early on, he got into foul trouble. So, that's still a major weapon they have sitting on the bench. Gay kicks to Daniels. Let's it go from deep. That's Daniels good. with the three-point shot. Man, the points just keep one. flying in this one. Defense just has to fight over the top of those screens. Especially when the ball this is, is crazy. in his hands. I mean, he doesn't miss too many open shots. Here's for Den. Holiday a screen on Westbrook. Feeds it to Baseman. Bazemore for three off the dribble, but Chris Bosch is there to clean it up. Chris Bosch having a great start. By probing inside. That's what's really working for them. And when you're doing the job they are inside, it takes pressure off the perimeter guys. Now here's Gay. Oh, Gay losing the ball. Fast break opportunity here for Dallas. They can't capitalize on that, but they're going to look for a good shot. Fredette gets the screen. Here's 
That's for Dak getting to the free throw line. The I'm liking the energy Jim, energy Jim is bringing right here off the bench. Their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And he makes the first. Sebastian Telfair, he's checked in for Portland. And Fredette drops them both. He's a dead eye at the line, fellas. Just call him automatic. He doesn't miss many of those. Sebastian Telfair, Telfair working on young Jimmer Fredette. Rudy Gage working in the post. He gets himself two free throws. A lot of free throws going on tonight. Dallas at 30 point mark. The Trailblazers have made three of their first five there. foul shots tonight. And the Mavericks making a change here. Jones has checked in. What a start they've gotten off to on the glass. I mean, they've come out banging. And when a game starts off like this, there is, there's an intimidation factor that comes into play. Here's Baysmore. He's been patient so far. Nothing Baysmore yet. Baysmore trying to go to work. There's a screen. Trying to get something to go. Darren Fredette been guard at Rudy Gay. Baysmore for three. No goal, but Chris Bosch again with another rebound. Couldn't get the goal this time. Portland taking the half court no shot. No good. Two point game here. Great first quarter. Lots of action. Great pace. I think this game's going to be one of the good ones. Tune in next Tuesday night, March 17th. Mark Gasol and the Memphis Grizzlies take on Andre Drummond and the Detroit Pistons. Do not miss it. Yeah, King Shire, you're right. They are leaving a lot of points to the line, and that can come back to bite you definitely in these games. Um, in the first season tournament, we saw a lot of teams that lost a lot of games by just one or two points. So you really can't afford to leave those free throw line points out there like that. I won't be surprised this game's finished by less than five points. The way it's going. And Sturt Nemitzki's back out there for Dallas to see if he can get going. Hopefully he stays out of foul trouble so he can actually play in this game. Small forward position. Here's Baysmore. An opportunity here to bring up a list of players that have been carrying their teams offensively. The good thing for the Mavericks is the fact that Dirk's been out so long. Uh, he's going to be out there playing against a lot of bench players right now, so maybe we'll take advantage of that. Man, that small forward position. And you're looking at a pretty good collection of them right there. Steve, I'd say more than pretty good. Those are the guys that give opposing defenses nightmares on a regular basis. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Rudy Gay. Now Telfair, he kicks to Cram. At the elbow, it's Udo. He dishes it to Telfair. Jones against Jones. Looking at how they stacked up Jones on Jones and more free throws. Here's what the Trailblazers did. First in free throw percentage. Fourth in three point field goal percentage. This Dirk looks so weird. I don't understand it. Rebound. This is a team that does a good job getting on the glass. And anytime you leave the league and free throw shooting, as you talked about, Clark, I mean, you can put a lot of pressure. And another missed free throw. Got to hit those shots. And get to the line as often as possible. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Josh McRoberts has checked in for Myers Leonard. And Tony Parker has subbed in for Fredette. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Mavericks? Worst shots of the line for Dallas. Really this this game has really become a free throw contest in a lot of ways. I mean, nice job and both teams are getting to the line with a lot of regularity. No good on that one. And both teams are missing some of these free throws here. here. Nick Daniels checked in. And the second free throw, good. Here is Telfair. Here's Sebastian Telfair can get going, see what he can do. Dishes it to Udo. Grab the pass to McDaniels. He feeds it to Udo. Udo working on Dirk, going inside, Fades turn around, fade away. It's good. His goal, that's a good Coach move Rick out of him. Carlisle is really a competitive guy. He's hardworking, brings a razor-sharp intensity to the job. A former NBA player himself, but uh, he 
He's not what you would call a player's coach. And Dirk with a patented turnaround jump shot. Looking smooth as well. He's not buddy buddy with Dallas is still able to hold on to that small lead. Clearly all business. Here is Telfair after Dirk Nowitzki's bucket. Now Telfair. Talking to Sebastian Telfair before this game, he said he's super excited to be back in the NBA and be playing on a team in the playoffs. Uh, he feels like his Portland team can't go all the way. He said that he's confident that they're going to win that Game Fact Championship. And at this stage of his career, he would absolutely love to bring home some hardware. And that's possible for him here. So you're going to see Sebastian Telfair giving it his all in these games. And I'm really excited to see what he does tonight because he seemed like he was hyped for this game starting. All smiles, too. Unlike Chris Anderson, who's just been extremely taciturn. And uh, just looking unhappy all day. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Now let's go to Doris Burke, Doris. Well, Kevin, as you know, Tony Parker is now an elder statesman in the Our NBA. free throws come for Dallas. feels as if he's been a mature force since he started playing at the French Training Institute. Parker's father said, quote, I don't think you can get any Another miss free throw. That. Leaving home at 14, you have Eesh. to become a man on your own. Guys? Thanks, Doris. Tremendous dedication to the game. It's great to remember just how far he's so only points been left the line tonight. It's crazy. Anderson's checked in. Telfair kicks to Green. They set the pick. Here's Crab. The drive by Green. More free throws. My goodness. <laughs> and that's on Dirk, who's got his third foul. That's terrible news for Dallas. freshman season in Michigan State. This is his first free throw of the game. Oh, Dirk's really upset about this. He can't stay in this game. And he makes the first. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Sebastian. He cannot stay in this game. It is. It is we're going to leave them out there, but they're playing a dangerous game right now doing that. But, I mean, you got to play them. They need them. This is one and done elimination. This is not a best of, you know, five-game, seven-game series. This is it. So, you got to have your stars out there. Dirk just has to do a much better job, I guess, staying out of foul trouble. And Dirk for three. Big time three point shot. That's that two. I guess that was a long two. But a nice shot for Dirk. Dell's still on top here. He's able to play the three or the four, and he's a good rebound. I mean, he's got long arms that help him play effectively against bigger guys, even though he's only about six seven. The pass to McDaniel's back to Green from outside the arc. A little hot potato there. McDaniel's and Green doesn't work turning anything, but. A good thought. Paysmore passes to Parker. Look at Dirk movement. He's just moving all around. He's, he's always active out there on the floor looking for open shots. Wow. What a beautiful shot. Parker's got assist number five here Dirk's tonight. heating up. He's heating up. Portland Chilbers might want to try to get him into but more foul trouble here if they can. Well, he's a jack of all trades, and I think he's been a pleasant surprise defensively. Uh, Which you don't want if you're Portland. You don't want Dirk and really Chris Bosh heating up together. That's going to be just sure. death. Here's Anderson. And, and there it is, the fourth the foul on Dirk Nowitzki. Well, let's see the stat sheet. He's going to have to sit down to this. Last month turned out for him. About Terrible turn of events for Dallas as they have been making rebounds. good moves and, and really pushing that lead up with Dirk out there, team. but I just don't see how they can keep him out there any longer at this identity, point. Only the, the second quarter, and he's already got four fouls. The ability to make plays that put up points, that's a major weapon his arsenal. And a man. And the first one at the line is good. Mavericks making a switch here. Yep, and out goes Dirk. Er, yeah, he's gone. I thought he was going to center for a second. Good job, Chris Anderson, getting that foul out there. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Mavericks leading by four. The dish to McRoberts. Holiday left side. Chris Anderson pulls it in. 
Boy, for my taste, he's far too inconsistent with that shot. I mean, he's got to make those if he's going to take his game to the next level. Green with a screen on Parker. Westbrook dishes to Green. Back to Westbrook. Shoots. Everybody is so aggressive out there. Yeah, King, everyone is super aggressive tonight. Uh, both teams want to win super bad, man. They're, they're, they're putting it all out there. They're trying as hard as they can. Getting the line, attacking. Everyone's fearless right now. Tony Parker attacking. Look at that. Tony Parker, I don't think there's any question the best player ever to come out I mean, of this game is going to be a, a drag out all out brawl here. Euro Cup championship in Slovenia. Just a terrific performance there from Parker. And thank goodness both teams are playing really tough because if one of these teams is playing soft, this will be a blowout right now already. Batum actually carried France in that title game against Lithuania. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And for Boris Diaw and Parker, they grew up together and they'd won a gold medal together in the U18 European Championships. And for 13 years, they've tried to get that second gold medal. Westbrook for three. Of play around the world, oh, good. Westbrook's been kind of quiet, tougher actually. Tougher in France. It's a little surprising. Holiday. After Westbrook's mystery. We should be pretty fresh now after getting a lot of rest. And Holiday exit to baseball. So they might be ready to make some big moves. Feet now to Bosch. Dallas moving the ball around. Teardrop shot. Portland grabs the miss. Coming off that loss against the Timberwolves. Yeah, I thought their defense in that game was about as shaky as it could be. At home, you know, that kind of defense isn't going to cut it. Never mind if you're on the rope. They really look tired to me. And I don't know if they had travel issues or if they were out too late. But McDaniels getting the line. I'm really liking on McDaniels' this play tonight. They had no energy. Obvious foul. Did he dance in there? He took a hit right there and earned He's those. He's doing a little dance. The first one falls. Hey King, how is the stream going? Is it is it cutting out a lot or is it smooth or how's it going right now? Last two times I've streamed games, it seemed like it's been pretty good, but before that I was having a lot of issues. Second free throw, no good. Dallas leading by three. Baysmore passes to Holiday. Can't catch Holiday it misses the layup. Range. If he can improve on Blazers have a chance to tie the game up here. Far, they could stretch this lead out. And Westbrook, here we go. From the arc. It's rebounded by Bosch. No oh, goal, Dallas gets that rebound. Seven rebounds in the game. It's all good. All right, awesome. Game for him good news. Maybe the update Parker. fixed it. This has been really good the last, or this week has been really good. Parker's got four this quarter. So timeout called here, the first for Portland. Look at Anderson angrily drinking that Gatorade down. See the stat sheet here on Russell Westbrook. Since the break, he's been simply stellar out there. First in scoring, second in assists. And he's been a terrific rebounder as well in the top 10 in that category per game. Westbrook working on Tony really Parker. Over his ranking as a Parker playing some good NBA defense, NBA but a great pass. More free throws coming. And Justin and Holiday gets his fourth foul. The distributors in the league. The point guards with the most assists per game this season. Fourth, Russell Westbrook. I'm calling it right now. Somebody's getting fouled out in this game tonight. There's just so many fouls being committed. Someone's getting fouled out. Steve, the court vision all of these players possess is outstanding. That, to me, is the most important attribute an effective point guard can have, and they all have it in spades. There's no way you want to get fouled out in an elimination game. Who the hell is that? Is that Jimmer? Trailblazers trail by four. Outside Westbrook. Westbrook with a nice step back that jumper, one, but no, left. no go. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to. Westbrook only shooting 30%, 3 for 10. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. The Mavericks have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. <laughs> We're going to check those free throws, King Shar, at halftime. We'll see for sure. But yeah, it's looking like you're missing every other free throw. Really bad. And that one falls for Fredette. So for the Trailblazers, you guys keep getting close, and then you just you can't get your free throws, and you just can't quite catch up. Nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. All of four. There's a good screen. It's Westbrook with the drive. 
Trying to break that ice cold streak. There he and goes, Westbrook with the little layup. Westbrook's got four points now in the quarter. Dallas leading by four. Tony Parker with the slight Tony edge right in the point side. guard matchup, but still early on. Jennifer Dead with the big the long three, but no good. Under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Parker with the steal. Tony Parker with the steal. Pass to Passes out to Fredette. And a foul called on the shot. No and one, one but more free time, throws. So he'll shoot two right here. Both well, teams in the bonus. Right the so many like fouls have been committed in this game. Yeah, I think you got to foul them, and free throws are better than the layup. Uh, a really physical game here tonight. Josh McRoberts. Trailblazers trail by six. And here's Westbrook. Nine points in the game so far. Green with a screen for Westbrook. Outside Green. Green for three. Almost, but it and out. Couldn't convert, but nice little two-man game there. And it wouldn't surprise me to see them go back to that the next trip. Fredette dishes to Parker. He starts, I think Stotts put Gay back in earlier. Yeah, I can't disagree with that. He gave, you know, Rudy Gay had quite a bit of rest. It might be a Blake Griffin situation, though, where uh, he got a lot of rest, mainly because of foul trouble, but he came out and played pretty much the entirety of the last three quarters. Westbrook kicks to Anderson. Pass to Gay. Green with a screen on Parker. Here's Gay. When he gets a little bit of space, gets inside, and and one opportunity. Now, will Portland hit their free throw here? They've been horrible at the free throw line tonight. Will he finally hit a, he hit a free throw here and get closer in this game? We'll see. When he gets smiling like he already thinks he's going to hit it, and he does. 44 to 49. Three minutes to go. Drives in down low. Leonard the fast to Bosch. Leonard to the basement. I think Leonard should have took that shot when he first got it. Passes it to Fredette. Five on the clock. Feeds the basement. And Jones pulls no it. No good for Bazemore. Like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his Wow, 0 for 7 from Ken Bazemore. That's terrible. He's really hurting his team shooting Parker. like that. On the wing, Daniels kicks it to Anderson, dishes it to Westbrook. Let's go. And two Westbrook the continues to struggle. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Oh no! More free throws for Dallas. I like the way they're getting the ball inside. I mean, they're killing here at the line. Basketball right now. And you've got to think it's going to create some foul opportunities for him. Udo's checked in for the Trailblazers. That's a great job getting to the line here. Got a seven-point you know, game here. A single attempt in that first quarter. What's going to happen? Are the Blazers going to be able to come back here? Get some offense second. going. And he was on the way out. Now they're getting the free throws. And Chris Bosh only with his first foul. He's been playing no really smart tonight. You could hear the impact from where I am. It'd be great for Dallas to get Bosh and Jerk good. on the floor at the same time. <laughs> I guess they'll probably try that in the third quarter. And so Jones nails both of them. But Dirk has not we been a factor at all this game. Now here in the second, and a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Well, Kevin Terry Stotts led the Blazers to the second round last season, and he's now. Ooh, in his third nice shot by Chris Bosh. Bosh looking so good tonight with his shots. And Milwaukee, but this is his longest stint and the best talent he's ever had. As Stott said, you never know if you're going to get another chance. If the Dallas the does go on in the second round, it'd be really cool if we can get a uh, Thanks, Dallas Jones, matchup the against uh, Udo, Rising Jones, Phoenix's team with Blake Griffin on it. I like just how Blake Griffin goes against three, Dirk and Chris Bosh. Finally, a three-point shot from Portland, Daniels. though. We needed that badly. Russell Westbrook still among the league leaders in shots at the rim, but Steve, he's expanding his offensive arsenal. Now we got a four-point game. He's a three-point shooter. You know, he's got a great pull-up jumper from mid-range already, especially from that foul line area. So Westbrook really is a threat from all over the court. Dante Jones, he's checked in for Dallas. Sebastian Telfair, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. We've got 113 left here in the second. 
Parker kicks to Fredette. Bosch, the screen. Let's the three Jones for three. Jones, no luck. No good. And Westbrook starting to go to work in the post a little bit. At almost six they can make it a one-point game or just be down two. Portland really scores here. For just about any point guard to handle down low. The Bastion Telfair, as we told you guys earlier, he's really excited to be out here tonight. Looking to play a perfect game as perfect as he can. Rudy Gay getting a nice assist. Gotta love the use of the bounce pass there. Perfect feed. Westbrook likes that left block. Dribbling with his right. Oh! Chris Bosch coming down with the cold blood shot. one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Here is Telfair on the wing, Daniels. Bashing to Daniels. Daniels pump fakes for the three. No one bites on it. Daniels is a little bit of trouble here. We have a step back. This is the shot, but Jones there for the rebound. Game. Rudy Gay has it. Like he was thinking of taking the three, but no go. Udo. You know, he's covered by Leonard. Turn around, Udo jumper, and it's bucket. good. Well, he could have earned some style points there, but he really doesn't need to use the fadeaway when he's that wide open. And here is Mark. He's got eight. King Shower, he wanted to see an Here's instant Jones. trigger. Okay, you should see Jason Capono in yesterday's game. That dude was firing as soon as his fingers built any portion of the ball. Even before they felt the ball. The ball was coming to him, he was already in shooting motion. Like that dude was shooting every freaking shot that came his way. It was ridiculous. Chris, what's been the key tonight on how this first half has turned out for you guys? Um, we have been doing pretty good on offense, moving the ball, getting layups, getting out over court, getting to the free throw line, but we do that, good things happen. No doubt, Chris, thank you. Kevin? Thank you, Doris, and we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. All right, let's look at some of these halftime stats. Three-point percentage, only 22% from Maver Dallas Mavericks. 60% free throws from the Blazers, 78% from the Mavericks. So, yeah, you were right about... A little bit than 50%, but 60% only. Rudy gave 21 points, though. Chris Bosch with nine rebounds. Tony Parker with six dimes. I missed the halftime guy who talked to halftime and told you, like, oh, well, tonight, Tony Parker is blah, blah, blah. They need to bring that guy back. Get some stats real quick, though. Bosch with 15 points, nine rebounds. Very nice. Look at Dirk. He's only played six minutes, guys. Six minutes. Yet he has 6 points, 5 rebounds. So great production. But only six minutes because foul trouble has just been horrible with him tonight. 3 for 4 shooting. Him and Chris Bosh have got to be on the floor at the same time. They really want to make some big moves. But Tony Parker are playing really well tonight. 8 points, 6 assists, 3 or 4 shooting. Portland is struggling a little bit. Rudy Gay is doing his thing. 8 for 10, 21 points. But Westbrook, 4 for 12, 9 points, 4 assists, 2 turnovers. Troy Daniels looking really good in 8 minutes. AJ McDaniels, Udo. All right. Quick team comparison. Nothing sticks out too much here. Both teams fairly even. No blocks from either team. Okay. Let's get the third quarter going. So far. Rudy Gay having a dominant impact in this game. Well, in terms of his points in the first half, I mean, that's pretty much what we've come to expect out of him. Yeah, that's an open book on all you need to know about what talent he has. I'll bet he adds a lot more to that tally in the second half. They've got Kent Bazemore. Myers Leonard is out there with Chris Bosch. Then it's Jones, and it's Parker in at the point. Well, also Westbrook trying to draw another charge, but once again, the call goes against him. Like the defender didn't get squared up and get his feet set. Good work by the officials, a nice call. That and Dirk's coming off the bench right away. They didn't start him for the third, but he's coming off the bench. I guess the coach changed his mind. Let's hope this is a good decision here. We'll see. Anderson against Bosch. Shot clock at five. Holiday goes in. Dirk's so only had six minutes in this whole game. game. It's crazy. Blazers trail by three. 
outside Westbrook. But his team's still up to their credit. He kicks it to Green. McDaniels passes to Gay. Outside Green. Westbrook gonna take a three on Tony Parker. It's no go. Westbrook still struggling. Bosch kicks to Parker. Bad Stole pass by, by Bosch. Easy stuff for Westbrook. Balls knocked loose. Almost turned it right back over though. McDaniel's passes to Westbrook. Dallas is playing some good okay, defense. Outside. There's Green with the three. They're not and letting the Portland get any the easy looks out here. The they host the Clippers after this game. Holiday sets the pick for Parker. Bosch the screen. Shot clock at six. Puts up a three. Bosch for three, and it's and it good. Three-point shot from Chris Bosch. Eight for nine shooting. Almost got a double-double. Looking great tonight. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. McDaniels kicks to Westbrook. Westbrook with another miss. Just killing his team right now. Guys, they've missed their first three shots in the third. I game. thought Boston took another three there. Out to the right wing. I gonna get Dirk the ball. Will Dirk get a shot? He does. Shoots a he does his one and foot fadeaway jumper and it's money. Outstanding and Dallas trying to break this game open right now. It's really looking good to start this third quarter while Portland is struggling big time. Green with a screen on Parker. Westbrook drives in. McDaniels kicks to Westbrook. Trying to break that ice oh, Dirk almost picked up another Jones foul there. Luckily, down. he didn't. Jones has got and Westbrook with another tonight. miss. I think Starting Westbrook needs to stop taking here. shots Over at this point. To He's got to look get his teammates involved. Uh, he just Parker doesn't have it right now. Westbrook picks him up. Nowitzki sets a screen for Parker. He dishes it to Nowitzki. Dirk for three. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, Ooh. but it's no good. Trailblazers trail by eight. Westbrook passes to McDaniels. He feeds it to Anderson. Cortland moving the ball around. Look at how Dallas it's plays Westbrook defense. Just look how fast they swarm on the uh, opponents. A wide open three. Nice deep three point though from Green. Dallas Sorely needed five. from Portland. Parker outside. Nowitzki up top. And the general to manager Parker. of the Trailblazers is not too Nowitzki happy, right saying outside. that. From the baseline. Chuck Brook is making an appearance. Rim, but wouldn't fall for he did not sign Russell Chuck Brook. He wanted Westbrook tonight. He's getting Chuck Brook okay, so far. To the right side. Maybe what Russell will take note. Kicks to game. And try to play a little bit better here. Maybe after the next time out, coach will talk to him. Six to shoot. Rudy Gay gonna do his thing. He's been the man tonight for Portland. No good there though. Novitsky's got six rebounds here tonight. Parker outside. Now the pass to Bosch. Off the Bosch with a long two. Rebound by no the good. Anderson with the rebound. The angry Anderson's rebound. Anderson's got four rebounds in this game. Green with a screen on Parker. Anderson trying Anderson to right dribble his way inside. I don't know if that's the best idea. But he managed no to get a decent now look. It didn't go in, way. but I don't think that's the type of play you want Chris Anderson uh, making one. You don't want him dribbling from the three-point line, trying to isolate himself into the under the basket. That's not really what you want. Dirk coming out, curling out, hitting a long two-point shot. And the Mavericks got that jump shot down tonight right now. 10.6 rebounds from Dirk, and Poland takes a timeout, smartly so. Just how significant a win Dirk had when he was able to get his championship win. Now a timeout called by Portland. Guys, you can tell how much it meant to Nowitzki to win that 2011 title. Validation and winning again, really now his motivation as he continues to play. Well, he said at this age, for him to keep playing at a high level, it takes tremendous dedication year-round. I mean, he needs to feel that they can contend to keep himself going. Now, here's Green. Right now, average and Dirk is extremely game. motivated tonight to win this championship, again, this Game Facts championship. Just five on the clock. At halftime... Oh wow, what the heck was that? 
At halftime, during the interview, they asked him what was all problem. They said it's just extremely frustrating. It's extremely frustrating to put in this much work and preparation. He's been training very hard ever since the All Star break to be in this Game Facts tournament, and uh, to not be able to play is just it's crushing. So that's why he's out here right now in the third quarter. Uh, he's playing very smart so far. Has not gotten into foul trouble. He says he wants to play. He has to play. He knows his team needs him. Even though they were up, he knows that if him and Chris Bosh get going, any team in this tournament is going to have a serious problem staying on par where Rudy Gay hits a nice Guys, open jump a shot. Rudy Gay is the only man right now for Portland who's keeping them really alive. He needs help. Parker kicks to Bosch. It's hauled in by the good stop, Blazers. good stop. Will Westbrook and finally Westbrook, get going here? here Westbrook go. gets his opponent to fall down, nice and Anderson. Anderson gets a nice inside bucket. He wants the foul. He didn't get it. He's really upset about that, but check it out. Three-point game. Portland is back in this one. They are like they were going to get blown Westbrook. out there. Parker and they're doing this Bosch. with Chris Bosh and Dirk on the floor, mind you. Holiday, left side. Let's take a quick look now at the numbers for Gay. He's getting around 20 points per game, six rebounds, and three assists. Points have been coming for him at a prodigious rate, and that's exactly what they depend on, his scoring ability and his drive. Yeah, and that's exactly what he is, a driven player, Steve, someone who can take an opposing defense and just shatter it with his ability. Free throws for Dallas. And he knocks down the first one. Makes the first. Look at the performance in this one for Holiday. Nine points and four of his points have come at the foul line. He's made the most of those opportunities. Which can't be undervalued, Clark. So many times a game can come down to which team wins the free throw battle. He hits one and misses. This is the second free throw, four point game. Rudy Gay the made this a two Go ahead, pass game. McDaniels. Westbrook wide, wide open for wide three. Open Oh, that shot would have been so big. Would have been so big for Portland. But Westbrook just can't get it together here. Parker outside. Bosch hits the pick for Parker. Pocket six. Uh oh. Holiday, Holiday with the Holiday little bit of space took the shot. No good. Trailblazers trail by four. Portland trying to get Westbrook that two point game going. Back to Westbrook. To the middle. Anderson dishes to Westbrook. Pass to Anderson. Back to Westbrook. Anderson refuses to work down low. Westbrook gets a little space. No good. Anderson gets the rebound, puts it back up, gets fouled. Official saw the contact and he'll shoot two. Let's take a look at the 2K leaderboard to see the teams that have been the biggest three-point threat since the All-Star break. Fifth best, the Trailblazers. This team seems to have gotten better shooting the ball as the season has gone on. I just think they're in a great offensive groove right now. He misses the free throw. Anderson misses the first free throw. Leonard comes in for Chris Box. And it's Jimmer for dead in for Tony Parker. Grabs checked Story in. Story of Portland. the night for Portland. I'm missing these free throws. If they lose this game by anything less than five points, you can point to the free throws as to why they lost the game. And, and Anderson misses free both free throws. Wow. Pull away a little bit. Yeah, they've been doing the dirty work inside, Steve, playing a very tough brand of basketball. The Trailblazers making a switch here. Udo's checked in. Right side Holiday. Jones wide open. Jones, the pass to Holiday. Back to Jones. Some nice passing here by Jimmer Fredette for three, yeah, nice and he right nails there. it. Fredette's got 11 points. Seven That's point like game all of a sudden. Thanks to that three point shot. Open out there. Look at that swing. That's a four point Here's swing because Chris Anderson cannot hit his free throws. Green with a screen on Jones. Crab kicks to Green. Green for three. Again, he can't get it back. The Holiday with the place. rebound. Dallas really liking Holiday's game out there tonight. 
Dirk's calling for the ball. He's got a mismatch, and, and Dirk with the easy layup. Nowitzki's got six in the quarter. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking it. Playing really good here in this third quarter, staying out of trouble. Key contributor for them in this quarter. Being a key That's contributor right, for this team, and look at this too. Dirk is out there playing while most of his stars are on the bench. Uh-oh, is that on? No, nope, that's on Larry. Okay, Dirk almost picked up his fifth there, but no, that was on Larry. Rudy gave it the right idea, though, attacking the basket. The more points he can come up with from out there, the better off they'll be offensively with their spacing. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Dallas. And their mid-range shooting continues to be accurate. Something else you'd like to see is how well they've shot their free throws tonight. Catching up on the changes for Portland. Perry Jones comes in for Green and what? Did, did he just say that the Portland was shooting their free throws well tonight? And both free throws good. That's a lie. Game. The bold and lie, so sir. It's Dallas with it. Fredette with it. He's got eleven. Jones the pass to Fredette. Dirk has a mismatch. Novitsky with it. He One foot there. step away, Novitsky's Fader. Easy really bucket. Nice Dirk is on fire right now. Solid possessions and building that lead up. That's the key, Steve. They'll stay in control of this game if they can just avoid any lulls going forward. Here is Telfair. Kicks to Jones. Telfair finds Jones. Jones takes a that quick jump shot. Didn't Sebastian look like a good Telfair. shot to take, but he made it. So there's no complaints coming from me. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Dirk going to work again. He's got 14. And Dirk's unstoppable in this third quarter. There is no slowing him down. He is just taking Portland to school right now. Beating them fools in the woodshed. Crab gets his man to bite. Well, but he loses the ball. Horrible. Will they go to Dirk again? Will they go to Dirk yet again? One Dirk's asking for it. Third. Dirk's asking for the ball. Six to shoot. Novitsky dishes the Fredette. Here's Holiday. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Trailblazers trail by nine. Takes the three. Telfair gets Sebastian the ball. Telfair at the big three. Telfair's got himself on the board with Kingshire. Come on, man. What do I got to do? I don't know, man. You got to hope your team plays well. I mean, Dallas hope Sebastian Telfair starts making up for some of Russell, Rus Russell Westbrook's mistakes. That three point shot, that's a. a well. All right, well, there you have it, folks. It was, uh, you know, it was a good game. Entertaining game. Things did not go as planned for Portland. It's really unfortunate Rudy Gay got hurt like he did in the end because he was having himself a hell of a game. He was really the whole reason Portland was in it for three quarters. I mean, he was all over the place hitting three-point shots, just running the floor, playing really hard. Looking really good, but that injury putting into all of that. And it would have been a struggle for Portland to come back anyway, but they just kind of had no chance once Rudy Gay went out. Westbrook did step up in the fourth quarter. But you know what? I'm actually interested to see Westbrook's... Uh, I see that on here? I, mean, I don't know if I can see that or not. I like to see his stats in the fourth as opposed to other quarters. You look at individual players? Yeah, okay, we got, wait, we got Westbrook here. Can't see the fourth quarter, though. Hmm. For some reason? I don't know. But yeah, good game, good game. Thanks, everybody, for watching. King Shard, thanks for commenting. This will be up on YouTube later if anyone missed the game and wants to rewatch it. And I'll see you guys next time for the final game of the first round of the series. Then we'll be heading to the second round of the playoffs where things are going to get even crazier. Thanks again for watching. Peace.